Okay, now we're gonna make our chocolate mousse today. So starting in a double boiler, we're gonna to melt together our chocolate along with our butter. Okay, just do this until our butter and chocolate are melted together. Now when you're working at a double boiler, be careful that these flames don't creep up over the sides and scorch the side of your bowl. Just trying to melt this gently by using the steam that's generated from the water inside the saucepan. Okay, while we let that finish melting, I'm going to take you over and have you get started on our egg whites. So we need to whip our egg whites to uh, soft peaks here. I'm going to start with just the egg whites. Once I start getting a little more volume to them, then we'll go ahead and start incorporating some of the sugar in with this. So we use our whisk attachment. I'm going to take this all the way to a high speed here. So I'll grab my taco. Got our chocolate well melted here. We're going to let this cool down a little bit. And then we're going to whisk in our egg yolks into the chocolate. Okay, you can see my egg whites have doubled in volume here. So now I'm going to slowly start adding a little bit of my granulated sugar to this. I'm going to take them all the way to stiff peaks here. So, got a nice kind of soft heat going right now. I'm gonna go ahead and leave these right where they're at so that I don't over whip them. I'm gonna set that aside. And while I work with my chocolate, I'm gonna go ahead and get my Heavy cream whipped. Okay, so same thing here. We're gonna go sort of between a soft peak and a stiff peak on our cream. And this will double in volume also. Okay, 
take a look at our chocolate, make sure everything's well incorporated here. I'm gonna go ahead and move this to a little larger bowl. This will also help cool down that chocolate a little bit. I want everything to be cool when we combine our egg whites and our whipped cream to our chocolate mixture here. Okay, now we are using pasteurized eggs here, so that's not why we can use raw eggs in our product. I'm gonna go ahead and whisk in my egg yolks into the chocolate. And mix that really well. Okay, now in three different stages, we're gonna go ahead and fold our whipped egg whites into our chocolate mixture. Okay, so I'm gonna start with one addition. And this first one, you kinda of have to mix it a little bit, but we're trying to fold everything in. So take everything from the bottom of your mixing bowl and bring it up over. Like I said, this first edition is a little bit rougher than the, each additional. We'll get this one mixed in, fold it in. Turn your bowl as you go here to help get everything incorporated. Okay, so that's our first edition of egg whites. Number two. Trying to retain as much volume as we can when we do this. So keeping all that air incorporated into our chocolate mousse. Okay, I'm gonna do my third and final edition of egg whites here. And after we get this last edition of egg whites folded in, we're gonna fold in our whipped cream. So don't wanna have any streaks left in the chocolate mousse. Want everything incorporated really well without over mixing. I'm going to go ahead and add this all in one addition here. And we're just going to mix this again, folding it in until everything's incorporated without over mixing so we keep it as light and airy as we can. Now this chocolate mousse could be a filling for a cake, maybe a trifle. Um, can serve it in lots of different manners. So once we get that last addition of whipped cream mixed in, it's ready for whatever use we want. One more here. I try to get that last addition. Okay. That's our chocolate mousse.